बसमिल रहीम वेलकम टू इंटरनेशनल इस्लामिक यूनिवर्सिटी इस्लामाबाद स्कूल्स साहिवाल कैंपस ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स दिस इज़ द लेक्चर ऑफ ग्रेड फाइव इंग्लिश यूनिट नंबर थर्टीन डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी ऑलरेडी हैव डन थ्री लेक्चर्स फ्राम यूनिट नंबर थर्टीन दिस इज़ द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑफ दिस यूनिट एंड द नेम ऑफ दिस यूनिट इज़ पोएम द फ्रेंच ऑफ द सी In this lecture, we are going to move towards the next section of exercise of this unit, and the next section is word study. We will cover similes, alliteration, and then we will move towards the next section, which is writing portion. And I will give you a written poem, an acrostic poem. Okay. Before we begin, make sure that you have your English students' book, English classwork notebook, and your complete stationery with you. Listen to the teacher attentively and write down the things asked by your teacher in your notebook. If you find anything difficult or anything that you don't understand, rewind the video and listen the thing again and try to understand. Okay. Today's topic is word study, similes. What is a simile, dear students? You already have learned about similes in your grade four. Here we are going to revise it in a more sophisticated manner. And simile is a figure of speech that makes a comparison, showing similarities between two different things by using the word like or as. When you compare and show the similarity between two different type of things between two different sorts of things between two different uh, two things belonging to the different group of object for example when i say as brave as lion suppose i say that my brother is as brave as lion think about it can a human be like a lion no he can never be but it is a figure of figurative speech which shows a similarity which shows the intensity sometimes so my brother is as brave as a lion it means that he is very much brave are you getting okay here we used as so this is simile again i i am saying that cheeks like roses suppose i say that um suppose i say that alina's cheeks are like roses or i say that um muavia khan's cheeks are like roses just think for a minute does muavia has cheeks with red petals are his or alina's cheeks uh, of uh, made of petals or they Uh, are fragrant no it doesn't mean that their cheeks are like rose it means that they are fragrant or they are made up of red petals no it means that their cheeks are very beautiful very cute so we used simile here using the word like that their cheeks are like roses i hope you understood uh, that what is a simile Open page number eighty-eight from your English student book. We are going to cover question number one from simile. Okay. The exercise is that read the poem and find as many similes as you can. And the poem is okay. I will give you the similes on this lecture. Will I will show you on screen and you will. underline those lines from your poem on page number 88 and the poem is lazy day surf like lace clinging to the shore here like lace clinging to the shore is a simile beads of spray like pearls in the air like pearls in the air it is a simile here fish as bright as jewels as bright as jewels is simile here 
leap from the sparkling sea i hear the sound of the waves like the soft beating of a drum like a soft beating of a drum is again a simile white sand as soft as a pillow as soft as a pillow is a simile cushions me where i lie it runs through my fingers like a warm water like a warm water is a simile the clouds move across the sky like lazy sailing ships of old like lazy sailing ships of old another a simile dear students make sure that you are underlining these similes on your book page number 88 have you done okay next let's move forward towards question number 2 of similes on page number 88 and question number 2 is complete the following sentences with a simile of your own dear students you can fill these blanks with your own similes but make sure that they should be grammatically correct correct spelled and should make sense i already have prepared a solution for it you can use my solution also first is the crab's claws were like like what the crab's claws can be it can be like scissor you can write like knives you can write like teeth anything that you feel that crab's claws uh, would be okay second is the waves were as high as what thing is very much high what simile can be used to show height i think it should be mountain the waves were as high as mountains third is the leaves of the coconut palm were like leaves of coconut palm were like the wings of eagle very big it shows that they are very big fourth is the coconut were like coconut were like those are round so we can say that coconut were like balls okay this is the complete solution of exercises from similes now let's move towards the next topic which is alliteration dear students alliteration is the repetition of sounds in a poem alliteration is the repetition of the same consonant sounds that the beginning of the sequence of words for example she sells seashells by the seashore here s is repeated she sells seashells by the sea shore it looks very beautiful and interesting to reading an alliterated sentence so this type of sentences are called alliteration poems are often made up of alliterated sentences okay let's move towards the exercise from page number 89 and question number 1 is copy these phrases and sentences use Uh, underline the alliteration okay you are just need to you just need to underline the alliterated sound for example first is a slow slimy snail what letter is alliterated it is s- so you will underline s a slow slimy snail next is see she sells seashells on the seashore oh sorry second is a funny flying fish what consonant letter is repeating it is f so we you will underline f third is she sells seashells on the seashore and you will underline s next is four time and tide wait for no man time and tide wait for no man here the sound t is repeated you will underline t
now let's move towards writing portion from this unit and you are required to write an acrotic poem do you know what is an acrostic poem an acrostic poem is a poem where certain letters in each line spell out a word or a phrase typically the first letters of each line are used to spell the message for example look at page number 89 writing portion here in the yellow box a poem is given if you see the first letters of the lines you will see that it becomes h a p p i n e s s it becomes happiness it means that this poem is about happiness and every line of this poem begins with the letter of word happiness okay so now you are required to write down your own poem i am going to give you a poem written by me and the topic of my poem is peace it means that every sentence from my poem will begin with the letters p e a c e so let's continue open your english classwork notebook and write down this poem by the topic of peace people united around the world and all the wars and conflicts is all citizens helping each other countries shaking hands everyone licking uh, everyone living in harmony very good very beautifully written poem on the topic of peace with the letters of p e a c e in the beginning of every sentence okay dear students this is the end of today's lecture now we will discuss our today's homework from students book page number 89 exercises of alliteration we have done exercise 1 and now you are required to do exercise 2 and 3 on your homework notebook exercise 2 is read the poem and find example of alliteration in the poem you are required to read out the poem happiness and find the alliteration third is write a phrase or sentence about each picture using alliteration here one picture is a coconut tree on the seashore another is a fish and third one is a boat you have to write phrases or sentences using alliteration describing these pictures these exercises are to be solved on your english homework notebook another homework is from your workbook page number 53 you will do question number 8 and 9 on your workbook dear students make sure that you have done uh, you would have done your homework before the next lesson make sure that you do your homeworks properly and neatly and if i find any of your works unneat and untidy i will cancel it and you will have to do it again so try to do every work neatly this is the end of today's lesson good luck dear students allah hafiz